Okay, hey guys. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a crown royal bag into a mask, a face mask. You ready for this? Help a person. This is a no sew option. I can't see you. It's actually really simple. Um, I've been looking for something to make in the masks. We can't get them just like everybody else in the world. And I tried things around the house and like this is great, but it's just a bandana. I still have to sew it. Here's my solution. You take your crown royal bag, right? Uh, these are for the 750 milliliters, so your standard size bottle. Not the big bottle, not a smaller one, not the medium one, but the standard size. You're just going to cinch it up like this, right? But you want to have a little bit of space on the end. So you're going to cinch it up and then string it through, just like that. And then make it nice and tight. So, that's what the bag still looks like. Theoretically, this is going to go and wrap around your head and go on both sides. Now, you might have a bigger head than me, so you may have to use a rubber band or another adjustment for it, but this should work. So, if you fluff up the bag like this, you'll notice it always has like that dome where your mouth goes like a lot of the other masks. And all I'm doing is taking some safety pins. Um, no sewing because frankly this is my sewing kit. We're gonna safety pin it together. I already have another one. See I just made it smaller in the center there. So take your mask aka crown royal bag, fold it in half so you know where the middle is and then you're going to, sorry, you're gonna make it cinched on the other end, this end, just like it is on this end, right? I guess I could show this better. So you're going to cinch it and then safety pin it. So that it's a little bit more um, together on this side. Not. Now you may need more than one safety pin. You may need to adjust it to your face. So when you put it on, right, this should be this side should be cinched just as this is. So if you pinch it, it should give you an idea where you need it. So I'm going to use two, and I'm going to cinch it some more. Let's get this one out of the way. So it's cinched on both sides. It's not rocket science. I promise you, you can do this. So then you're just going to, this side is going to wrap around the ear and then around the back of your neck. And then you're going to safety pin it over your ear. One of the safety pins that's already over here, open it up with the Ta -da. if you fold it, it'll give you a nice layer of protection in between. Now it's kind of open here, so I might in it a little bit more once it's on and adjust it with another pin. And voila.
Now you could, you could use a cleaner and make a bridge for your nose and either glue, sew, pin it in. If you're feeling fancy, right? Help pin it there. But I don't think you need it. What you can also do, once it's on, you can use glasses. How to keep it down on your nose. Ta-da. Or sunglasses. And that will help keep it in place and keep it down so that there's no air going in. There's actually really not any air on the sides at all. And you're done. Best thing is I can throw it in the wash after I've gone to the grocery store or whatever, and I'm out. Okay, and that's it. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. What I love about it is I can totally just throw it in the wash after I've been out to the grocery store. They do recommend you do that. Again, I do not recommend this for a nurse. If you have a bunch of these bags, cool. Make them for your family and friends when they go to the grocery store, when they go to the pharmacy. It is not foolproof, but what it will do is help protect you just a little bit and it makes more cognizant when you do actually touch your face with your dirty hands. So, you know, I'm probably gonna get some backlash, but I hope you guys like this project. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Please share it out. Let's, let's give a solution for people. Um, and if I come up with any other ideas, I will make them and make more videos. Okay, thanks. Stay safe, everybody.